college basketball at San Diego State, played his entire career for the San Diego Padres, Hall of Famer, first ballot Hall of Famer. So I had uh, Tony Gwynn as honorable mention. Um, I had George Foreman. The reason why George Foreman didn't make my list is because George Foreman, if you look at George Foreman early in his career, George Foreman was, you know, chiseled. I mean, he was a beast. Um, but a lot of people remember George Foreman at the end of his career when he was basically an overweight, you know, fighter. Uh, much overweight. No muscle definition at all, anything like that. Um, and uh, and so that's it. So that's my list. Top five heavyset athletes of all times. From uh, Mr. Harper. Uh, what up, Mr. Harper, who has the show uh, S- Sports Talk with Soul. Uh, we'll probably get him back on the network soon here. And now we're doing live shows here on Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Mr. Harper says, uh, honorable mention, Tony Gwynn. Ha, if he is considered a big guy, he is the best athlete on the list. No, not the Tony Gwynn I remember from his career. The Tony Gwynn that I remember from his career uh, didn't look like an athlete at all to me. <laughs> right. I mean, Tony Gwynn didn't run particularly fast. Tony Gwynn was a great baseball player, but, you know, baseball players aren't great athletes, in my opinion, for the most part. You know, a couple of great athletes that you can think of. Um, I talked about Cecil Fielder earlier. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. was a great athlete. So, in relative terms to athletes, baseball probably has the the less unathletic athletes out of the big three sports. I mean, that's just true. So I disagree with you. I disagree with you. I don't think Tony Gwynn was a better athlete. Run, jump, quickness, and all of that. I don't think he was a better athlete than Barkley, Bettis, or even Prince Fielder. All right. Um, from T-Dub, very, yes, very good basketball player. Oh, man. I mean, Barkley. <laughs> uh, if you're talking about Barkley, I mean, Barkley was that dude. He was. I remember we used to sell the Barclays. Remember the Barclays when they first came out? That's when I was working in uh, at Foot Action USA, which I mentioned a couple of days ago. So this was probably 93, 94, uh, fresh out of college. And uh, the Barclay sneakers were out at that time. You remember the Barclays? They, they had the little bubble in the back. Man, them sneakers used to sell like crazy. And that's because <laughs> folks was watching Barclay on a nightly basis just dunk on fools. From Duncan and Dodging, he was heavy in college and in Philly. Talking about Barkley. From uh, That Ninja, Tony Gwynn played basketball in college. Yeah, that's what it was. I, I remember. I couldn't remember if it was basketball or football, and it, I don't think it was football. From Clay Coogee down Davis, George Foreman was country boy strong. Right, right. George Foreman didn't need to eat no damn or, 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 or lift no damn weights. He was just country boy strong from where Galveston, Texas. Right, he just went in and knocked fools out. You remember he went in there, and uh, who was it that he knocked out? Michael Moore, the great Michael Moore. Uh, Michael Moore was heavyweight champion, and uh, George Lewis knocked that man into oblivion. Or, or like Mike Tyson says, Bolivia. That was incredible. One hit a quitter from Sluggo X Squad. Either my internet is bootleg today, or Doug is wrestling with gremlins again. Nah. No, we haven't lost a signal or anything. I think that's your damn bootleg computer. Nah, bro, don't put that on me. I mean, once every blue moon, we have issues. We have technical difficulties, but we we good as Crisco today. Don't put that shit on me. Oh, Duncan and Dodger says, Sydney, the Spreaker app is messing up for me. Okay, so maybe it's the Spreaker app, but I mean, we're doing fine around here, Shawty. We good. <laughs> From Sluggo, he says, Bonus stew, bonus stew. This is the third hour. This is your bonus stew. <laughs> Hello, 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 McFly, hello, hello, McFly. This is your bonus stew. This is the third hour. 
This is what your extra dollar, your four dollars a month paid for. Yeah, yeah. From Mr. Harper, he says, Tony Gooden was drafted in both the MLB draft and selected in the NBA draft to the San Diego Clippers. And and see, when you're talking about Tony Gwynn, the athlete straight out of college, maybe he was a better athlete than these other guys. But for the majority of his career, Tony Gwynn wasn't what we would consider a great athlete. And I will debate you all day long on that, Mr. Harper. From no love for MDK, George still hit you with that two-piece combo and can knock you out. Yeah, sledgehammer hands. George Foreman had sledgehammer hands. They said he had sledgehammer hands in his heyday. And when he got older, man, I just think that uh, his hands were even heavier. He couldn't beat your ass in a darn 40-yard dash, but he would knock you the F out. <laughs> Sidney Jackson says, I remember when George beat Moore, he hit him with that slow right, but it had a lot of power and weight behind it. Right, it had nothing but collard greens, cornbread, mashed potatoes, gravy, all of that behind it. Uh, from Clay Coogee Down Davis, he says, Doug, what about tournament information? Where can I sign up? I'm glad you reminded me. So the regular tournament for the NCAA tournament, um, y- y- a lot of y'all have emailed me and said y'all, don't, y'all not on Facebook, man. Y'all need to get y'all asses on Facebook. <laughs> right. You need to get on Facebook. You know, I don't know. You act like y'all CIA or y'all got warrants or something like that. Y'all ain't got no warrants. It's okay. Create your little account. Get on Facebook. Join the Doug Stewart Show Facebook chat group. All right? So the link to the to the tournament bracket for you to join our tournament is in the Doug Stewart Show Facebook chat group. All right? Um, we've also posted it on Twitter under the Doug Stewart Show on uh, on Twitter. Um, so, so we've got, I think, like 60-some people already registered and, and filled out a bracket. We're also putting together today that we hope will be ready by tomorrow when the, uh, when the actual tournament starts. We're going to make sure it starts tomorrow. Tomorrow we will have available in the same Doug Stewart Show chat group on Facebook and on Twitter, we'll have a link to the Cartoon Bracket Challenge. Right. We decided to go with the cartoon bracket challenge that was uh, suggested by Tiffany Poodle in Portland yesterday. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to give you the top 64 cartoons of all times. Now, we're trying to decide whether we're going to keep it restricted to Saturday morning cartoons or not. Uh, Give me your quick thoughts in the chat room. Should we keep it to Saturday morning cartoons only or should we include, you know, cartoons on the periphery like the Boondocks? The Simpsons, um, you know, that type of thing. All right. Uh, we could just keep it just to Saturday morning old school cartoons like Bugs Bunny and, you know, uh, cartoons like that. You know, afternoon, after school cartoons like Tom and Jerry, we'll, we'll include those as well. But do you want to include like The Simpsons, um, The Cleveland Show, The Boondocks? Do you want to include those? Y'all give me your thoughts before we. We come up with this final tally on the field of 64, all right? Um, But we'll post that in the uh, chat room hopefully late tonight or early tomorrow morning. From uh, Tiffany Poole in Portland, top five reasons not on Facebook, ducking from baby mamas. (laughs) (laughs) POs, which stands for, what does that stand for? Uh, Probation officers. COs. What's CO stand for? Correctional officers? Feds, auto finance companies, repos. <laughs> oh. Yeah. If somebody trying to come collect your car, you probably don't need to get on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. From Tiffany Choke Slam and Heels, you still need 64 cartoons. How do you not include those? Oh, my gosh. I've researched and done a little. Somebody sent me a, uh, a link to a list. Man, 
You know how many great Saturday morning kids cartoons that have been out for the last 40 years? We're talking the 70s now. We're going back to the 70s with, with McGilla Gorilla and Laugh Olympics and Hong Kong Fui and all of that. I mean, all of them on the list. Don't worry, we got 64. We got 64 cartoons that we could put on there that doesn't have to include like adult kind of type theme cartoons. But y'all let me know about that, what y'all think. From uh, Coach Noy Bramble, Real Talk, I found out I had a kid through my space. Damn. <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. You got mail. <laughs> right. You're trying to get free music and hook up with Dern. Uh, chicks online, your ass got a, a, a surprise. That's hilarious. Uh, congratulations to you, man. Hope your son or daughter's doing well, Coach Bramble. From Ninja, Miss Mocha Bell, X Squad. From Coop, Johnny Quest. Yeah, Johnny Quest is going to make it. Johnny Quest is going to make the list. Him and Haji. Him and Haji. Uh, let's see. Thorny Switch says Saturday morning cartoons only. Yeah, I like that. I, I, I'm kind of going with that. If y'all want to go with the other ones, we can, though. I'm going to kind of take a census of, uh, uh, of what y'all think. From No Love for MDK, it should be different conferences from different years, 70s and later 80s, 90s, and 2000s and current. Oh, I like that. So one bracket, the east bracket would be the 70s. The west bracket would be the 80s. Um, the south bracket would be the 90s. And then the 2000s would all be in one bracket. And then you'd have the two best from whatever four brackets meet up in the championship game. I like that. I like that. Coach Noy Bramble says he's about to start calling his daughter MySpace. <laughs> hey, on that note, we got to get out of here. When Tupac was around, we got to get out of here on that. But, uh, I think it's only right hey, MySpace, come here. Frank Cole, Ernie's chest. Yo. Thank you for joining me today on the Doug Stewart Show. The realest, trillest force of guy talk show in America. Now tell the truth now. Just tell the truth. Are you not entertained? Huh? Huh? You know you are. Oscar Cooper. Edgar yeah. Love. Four founders. Sons of Blood and Thunder. I'm wrecking for the cue. I know we make So do not forget. Coming up next, live. Not recorded, not memorix. Live here on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network, John Fish is cooking with the microwave, patty cake, patty cake, microwave at around 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you hit that follow button on Spreaker.com, all right? And join my man John Fish and see how he do it, how he put it down for them sports and guy talk, all right? Thank you to my man Waterhead Walter, Pole Politicking, the consultant Brandon Butler, engineers Dwayne Rasson, Gerald Oliveri. Thank you to all of y'all. My man Pink Gator for this hot ass track right here. Yeah. And a special shout out to all of the Stewies. Without you, there would be no me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Stewies. All right. Don't forget, Jay Fish coming up at 1.30 p.m. Eastern. We'll see you again tomorrow for a Throwback Thursday. Same Doug Stewart time, same Doug Stewart channel, all right? 10 a.m. Eastern time. Peace. When Tupac was around, he wanted to raise a nation of thugs. But uh, I think it's only right for me to raise a nation of brugs. Frank Cole, Ernest Jess. Oscar Cooper, Edgar Love, four founders, sons of blood and thunder. I'm wrecking for the Q, I know we make you wanna. Frank Coleman, Ernest Jess, Oscar Cooper, 
Nigga love, four founders, sons of blood and thunder. I'm wrecked.